Okay, in this video, I show you the WP SEO schema uh, plugin for WordPress. Uh, once you install it, once it's installed, you'll go to um, here right in, for the general settings. Each page has its own settings as well. So you'll go here. Uh, you'll fill in all this information, uh, basic information here. This is great for local businesses, but also great for um, worldwide businesses. And you want to make sure also that you fill out the corporate contacts. Uh, this is where you're going to put in your phone number, so you want to make sure your phone number is part of the schema. So you'll fill in that um, right here. I believe I don't really focus too much on this, but uh, you'll then save the changes. Now let me go to a page and show you how the page ones look. So the page um, basically is a little bit different. It gives you these different options of what type of uh, page it is or what type of schema you're filling in. And so uh, for most of them, I do an article. And you'll fill in the information. Most information is pretty straightforward. Uh, description, you just type in maybe a snippet from the body of the of the article. Article body, you basically just type in, uh, you know, put in, copy and paste in as many um, paragraphs as you can, I guess, uh, and put that in here. The hard part is um, right here, the image URL. So this image URL, I wish it had the notes like it has down here on this one. But this image image URL is an image from the page or a, an image that represents that page. So, um, you know, if your page, whatever, you know, you want to have a, a picture that is basically specific to that page. However, it cannot be bigger or actually it has to be exactly 696 pixels wide. So it can't be smaller, can't be bigger. It has to be exactly 696 pixels wide. The height, uh, I believe, doesn't matter, but it does need to fit in that parameter. Now the publisher logo, this is basically going to be the same on each of your pages. This is going to be, um, so basically your company logo. However, uh, it cannot be taller than 600 pic 60 pixels. So it's pretty short and it cannot be longer than 600 pixels, which is really odd because most logos uh, you know, are kind of squarish and they're not long and narrow. Um, but you, you might want to come up with just a simple uh, logo that you can use that is a long and narrow one and then uh, use that here. I'm not sure exactly how they use this. I haven't seen any good examples, but um, anyway, that's you just want to want to do that. Now, once you do that, you, of course, update the page, and that's going to save this information. And then uh, you'll want to go here on this link right here, and I've done an example of it only, but here. So here is uh, what happens when you test the page. Um, it'll come up and tell you if there's any errors or warnings on the page, but then it'll, over here it tells you how many uh, items it found that are in that category or in that um, that field or whatever. So there's different, you know, three reviews, different things like that that you want to uh, make sure everything looks like it's filled in, and you want to make sure that there's no warnings, especially or errors. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You just fill out that information, and that's uh, all there is to it. Thanks.